Well, hello and welcome to this video on the integration of sine cubed x. Now, I've done a similar exercise on the integration of cos cubed x and the link is there somewhere. And in that exercise, I went down the route of trying to expand cos 3x. Now I'm going to expand sine 3x. There are quite a few ways of doing this, but I'm going to go down this route anyway. Right, now sine 3x is same as sine 2x plus x. Now, if we regard this as a and that's as b, we should try and expand this as you do for sine a plus b. So that becomes sine 2x cos x plus cos 2x sine x. Okay. Now, if we expand this and then change that as well, so sine 2x then becomes 2 sine x cos x and then multiply by cos x there plus now that becomes cos squared minus sine squared x. So that's cos squared x minus sine squared x multiplied by cos, sorry, multiplied by sine x there. Okay. If we then expand the brackets for both terms, we end up with uh, 2 sine x cos squared x because cos x times cos x will give us cos squared x plus sine x will give us sine x cos squared x and then sine x times sine squared x will give us sine cubed x there. Right, now for this one here, okay, now if we then do, because those two terms are similar, sine 2 sine cos squared x and sine x cos squared x, so if we add both, we now get 3 sine x cos squared x minus sine cubed x there. Okay, now if we then expand this one here, because uh, cos squared x plus sine squared x will give us 1, so cos squared x is same as 1 minus sine squared x, and that's what we got here. So we've got 3 sine x into 1 minus sine squared x from there, and then minus sine cubed x there. If we then expand this bracket, we have that our 3 sine x there is now equal to 3 sine x minus 3 sine cubed x minus this sine cubed x there and those two should give us 4 minus sine cubed x so sine 3 sine three x is a mass 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x now when that goes across to the left hand side that sign will change and that comes across to the right hand side the sign will also change so we end up with 4 sine cubed x is equal to 3 sine x minus sine 3x there. Now I'm going to skip a line here. If we divide both sides by 4, we end up with sine cubed x is equal to 3, 3 quarters sine x minus a quarter sine 3x. Now we can integrate uh, sine cubed x there. Okay? So, uh, because I skipped the line, that's, that's what we got because I now skipped the line, last line anyway. So that's what we got there. So now you get all of that there. Now, if you look at these two terms, uh, look at these two terms individually. Okay, open up the brackets. Uh, we then end up with this one here, which is three quarters sine x dx, which is this one here, minus one quarter sine three x dx, which is this one here. A quarter times that gives us this one here. Now, if we just ignore this for now and do this one first. Right, now if we say let u is equal to 3x, so du dx is going to be 3, which makes dx same as du over 3. So we're not going to replace dx by du over 3, and replace sine 3x by sine u. So we end up with uh, 3 quarters sine x dx minus a quarter sine u du over 3 okay because dx now becomes u over 3 so 3 times 4 give us 12 there okay so we end up with when you integrate sine x you get minus cos x so that becomes minus 3 quarters cos x there and when you integrate sine u you get minus cos u there and the integration constant of plus c there so in the next line we're going to change this now to 3x so we then end up with uh, 
minus three quarters cos x plus because minus times minus give us a plus there plus one over twelve cos three x plus the integration constant capital C there. So we then end up with that the integration of uh, side cubed x is the same as one over twelve cos three x minus three quarters cos x plus integration constant of capital C there. Now, I hope all that makes some sense and please, please subscribe and pause the video and go back again and watch it again. And don't forget uh, to have a look at the link for my past um, video on cost cubed X. Thank you for watching and bye bye now.